guys. Calvin from the cartoon company in New Zealand. Man just sent me a log file. We're going to have a look through it on the link software. So I'm going to whip into my email. Here's my email. And here's a log file here. So we're going to uh, download that. Going to work reasonably quickly. This is actually his real log file. We're going to minimize all that. And we're going to grab the software here. There we go. Up to logging. Open log file. I don't want crawls. It's going to be in downloads. And that's it there. Let's open that log file up. Here we go. So he's only actually given me two minutes of log file. Um, it was off the PC log, logging data. So it's a very, very short section of uh, logging. So you can see here, I wonder if I've got some better. I haven't actually set up a whole lot. I want to see what some mixtures are. And have a little bit of a look down here and see what's logging. Cam positions, dwell time, and throttle position. He's at 2000 RPM, oh, that's okay. Ignition angle, BAP, so that's the atmospheric pressure, it's about right. Air temp, injector duty, which is quite high, considering it's got big injectors in it. Might indicate there's a problem. Uh, okay. What we don't have in here is any lambda figures. Just moving around a bit. So let's go about sorting that out. So I'm going to go over here. I'm going to open up another uh, PC link file open and I'm going to go back a couple to the base maps here were some base maps and he's in on an Evo base map Evo one two three hope that's what it is okay and the one change that he has made is he has Increased the master fuel. So I'm just going to go here, fuel main. He's moved that up to 11. Now on a drive, it did go quite rich under when he was driving it. No boost. So I'm just going to leave it on 10 at the moment. But we want to get some log data that's going to work for him. So I go up here to logging. Oh, actually, I'm just going to flick an 11 in here. So that should match what he's got. Logging, we come down here, there should be a setup somewhere. Setup logging. PC logging, that's what's coming on PC logging. Number three, number four, five, six, seven, eight. Lambda fuel correction, let's just see in this list here whether it has lambda one, lambda one. Okay, so we actually do have Lambda 1 being logged. So if I go back here, I'm going to start a new page. Uh, and we go... Logging, and I want to put in a navigator. The only thing I want on the navigator is RPM. Add group. Oh, I don't even need to add group. I should be able to just add a parameter. Oh, trigger. I don't want all that. I only want that one. Working with one hand. Got it wrong. 
So we'll just run these things off. We'll just remove them. And I should actually say when I left click and right click, shouldn't I? We'll stretch it. And we'll put it at the bottom. Hey, come on. No, that, not that bottom. Okay, so there's our log data. And then I want to put in, uh, again, logging, a time plot, add a group, add a parameter. And if I'm very careful, I'm going to just click on here. So I right click on the little arrow, engine speed, yes. Add group, add perimeter. Theoretically in here there should be lambda 1. So look at lambda 1, lambda 1, cool. Add group, add perimeter. And I want to put some, some map sensor in here. That's going to be an analog map add group add parameter and we're going to put in the throttle position sensor tp main so at the moment that's all i'm going to put in there we're going to push ok we get some wiggly lines Just have a bit of a move around. That is pretty good. Okay, so here's our throttle position, our map sensor, our lambda, and our RPM. So I can see here that it's very, very rich. We'll look at some properties. Oh, that just goes back to the. Uh, I think if I double click on here. I can change color, so I right clicked onto the the screen. Does red on the red background yellow work okay? And we probably we probably need to we can drop this to like one point. One point oh five. 1.1 is okay. Bleeped at me. Push OK. Okay, so we've got here. Uh, came down to zero. So we're looking here, we got the mixture. Dropping down, whose throttle's closing. I can't point to the computer screen. Down here, the throttle's closing. It's getting vacuum. And it's quite rich. However, it's leaning out. So it's taking a little while for it just to pick up on that leaning out. So we can actually look at what the injectors are doing. And then it sort of stabilizes back to um, still very rich through there. All very, very rich. As he closes his throttle. So he closes his throttle. And it actually takes a moment to catch up with the Lambda. The Lambda is a little bit slow. 
Okay, so that's how I can look at some, some data, the, the lambda is in there. But let's see if I can just have a look in here. So I've whipped back into the software, and we go ECU logging. We're going to push this little button here, enabled. Turn it on. And these are the few things that it's bringing up. If we want to put more stuff in, we can. So we've got an engine speed. It's good. Ignition angle. The target lambda and the lambda 1. Map sensor, ECT. The coolant temp. Inlet air temp. Barometric pressure. Throttle position. And battery voltage. That's just the base settings, and they're a really good start to not complicate things. Some people will say you're better to have data um, and not need it than need data and not have it. We are a little bit limited in the G4 Plus with the amount of data you will save, or you can the memory in the in the ECU. So try not to. Let me change that. I try not to put in too much. If you put everything in, you probably get about half an hour of logging. Um, which isn't too bad. But if you're in a race car and an endurance situation, there's some stuff you, you just might not, you might not um, need in there. And some extra time might be handy. If you, over, you go over your logging, it just deletes and starts again. He doesn't have a lot of that stuff in there. I'll have that one, thank you. A manifold gauge pressure, and I'm just going to put it on the list. And we'll put it into a few more hertz. Thank you. I would also like um, some fuel enrichment, some statuses. So we're going to look up here. Duty cycle was probably quite handy to have. Put that in. What I want to know is acceleration enrichment. warm-up enrichment that I want so I want to know that the engine I'm just going to move my foot I want to know that the engine's fully warm and we've got it in ECT so we could assume once it's at a certain temperature that it's all gone or well, all the warm-up enrichment has been has come off however I still like to just to double check there fuel table one would be handy Acceleration fuel. Because I don't want to go changing fuel maps if acceleration fuel is present. We'll give these a little bit more hertz. Warm up enrichment, don't need that. I want rev limit status and map limit status. Shift, give them both of those, pop them over. Just grabbing some idle. Information. So there's a lot of stuff here we can log if we want to and statuses of different uh, things.
I'm going to push OK on that. And I'm going to go uh, File, Save As. It's no longer a base map, it's now a tuning map. Various maps is where I'm going to. Not in VQ Jet Boat. Various maps. Safe. So I've just modified that. Then I'll whip over to my email. I'll reply to Ian. I'll shove a file in. Attach files. Everything decides to go slow. Um, it's in my D drive. It's in G4. It's in G4+. Plus. It's in tuning maps. It's in tuning maps. As you can see, there's a lot of tuning maps, various maps, Ian's, open. And we'll just make a couple of notes here. And we see that. So I flick that over there. He also needs to know where to find the fuel maps. So he's changed the, the master fuel there. We'll just go to tuning here. ECU controls. Fuel table one, right there. So here's the fuel table. So when it's idling, we would expect it to be up in this area. So we can probably reduce fueling. Though I think in this case he's probably best to go here. Oh, sorry, I'm going the wrong way. Go back to there. Go there. Watching this lambda. And then adjust the fueling here. You can page up, page down. This vehicle's had bigger injectors, so I would expect it to be very rich. So I'd also be checking for air leaks if it's lean. Um, though getting some log data. Be nice if I was there, but I, I'm not. I'm an hour's drive away. So that's back to Ian. Hopefully this has kind of been helpful. Showing how to set up some logging. Hope it hasn't been too boring. And we'll talk to you again soon. Catch you later.